We're at the Xfinity training facility in Alameda, California. We've been here for about a month, I think. We're just preparing for DAC in Kiev, so we're just in preparation mode right now. Everyone's playing a lot. It's fun, you know, it makes it a little more interesting. Normally I'm home alone, but when you're here, it's like always interesting to see what's going on when you walk downstairs. I've always liked walking downstairs and seeing people playing video games, so it's, it's nice for me. So today is Sunday and we're going to be leaving on Thursday for DAC and then, you know, that's when we're going to start the tournament. So we have a few more days to practice. Uh, scrims overall have been going really well. I mean, we've lost very few scrims, so pretty much mostly domination all around. So far, it's been pretty easy for us in our scrims. Wait, you're actually sleeping, huh? No, dude, I have to be a Ooh. Fear, Peter. Where is fear? Where did you go? say about food. All the guys haven't had that many different types of food in their life. Sumail grew up for 16 years eating Pakistani food his mom made. And so it's like trying to get people just to be comfortable eating some other things. Sumail just wants something that tastes good. So he just wants dominoes and all these other random things. So it's always a, a balancing act, just trying to get it right. But do what you can. You hope they like it all right. Pretty good. Yeah, I won like five games of Dota and six games of CS. Good day. Say you win five games of Dota, five games of Dota. and then you can play CS. That's motivation. <laughs> That's strong. That's acceptable. Dude, what the f is your problem, dude? I'm having a very rough one here. Don't talk to me. I got sick of any clubs, so I decided to play on Europe schedule. So I've been waking up around like 8 p.m., 10 p.m., been playing all day or all night. I'll be gaining it tomorrow, but maybe my sanity is at stake here. We're back, boys. We're a team that's always kept our mindset of being comfortable in the things that we want to play, but also being ready to adapt on the fly. Once you get to the LAN environment, what ends up being the sort of meta of the tournament will emerge pretty quickly during group stages, and you have to be ready to be nimble and adjust and adapt to it and know how to be effective in that meta. And so we feel really good about that. I think everyone's been playing a good amount of pubs, which is really important for that, kind of knowing what's strong. We've been able to practice and try a lot of the things that we've kind of been curious about and get a feel for if something's good or not. We definitely feel good going in. We always do. We, feel, we have faith in ourselves and our abilities at the end of the day, above all. Time passes pretty fast. Uh, the days kind of blend into each other because we don't really do much uh, besides playing Dota, and focusing on, on practicing. People don't really know what's going to go on in the tournament. But I think we have a pretty solid grasp what we want to do in our games and 
We'll just have to see what the others bring out when the tournament starts. <laughs> Gonna make some chili for the team tonight. Turkey chili. We have a lot of health conscious folks. You put enough cheese in that I think it'll cut whatever heat there is. You'll probably go to tell at the end though. It's a chipotle chili, so it's going Yeah. <laughs> I am officially the best in the house. I mean, it's a dead game. Yeah. What? Dead game. Obviously, when, when you play a lot of the same game every day for a long time, there's sometimes when you need a break, you just need some diversity, I guess. The life of a genius is just, it's a good life. I think that, you know, you get stressed during tournament runs and days in hotels and things, but uh, at the end of the day, I think we all kind of take a deep breath every once in a while and realize that we're just kind of on this wild ride together and, you know, it's a lot of fun and we're, you know, going to keep working hard to make it last as long as we can.